Hey guys, so I want to talk to you a little bit today about how to live more naturally, how to, um, how to achieve a higher state of health as easily as possible. And in this day and age, you have the internet and all these resources where you can actually find people who have achieved uh, what you want to achieve and they give you rules and outlines on what to do, what to follow and what is healthy for you, what you shouldn't do, what you should stay away from. So I, I wanted to make a little bit of my own, a little bit less aggressive, less of a doctrine to it, but it's pretty much that you need to live more naturally, you need to stop consuming so much, and be content with little. Be content, because less is more. Be content with, with, with little in your life. And then you'll be happy when anything comes your way. You won't be as greedy. And I, I like the idea of this paleo diet that a lot of people are on, although it's, it, I, I do disagree with it in some aspects because what it, its main basis is that these paleolithic people had high levels of fitness. They had low body fat. They were running around all day. They had to be eating the, most, the best food for them. Uh, so that they could survive, right? So they had to find, forage, hunt for prime foods in order to survive. And, and that's a step in the right direction because instead of consuming our junk um, standard American diet, we're, we're jumping up one notch to healthier foods that give us more vitality and you can actually feel the difference. So when you go from eating cheeseburgers and colas all day and start consuming maybe here and there organic fruits and vegetables, uh, grains, mm, organic meats that don't haven't been pumped full of antibiotics. They're not sterile. You know, some of them actually have life force in them. Then you, when you, when you make a, a gradual shift, you know, even just one day a week, just consuming less food or, or fasting for a few hours. You know, just making these adjustments actually improves your health and. I can't tell you this, you need to actually experience it for yourself. You need to make adjustments. Everyone needs to make adjustments in their lifestyle, but you need to do it gradually so your body can adjust to it. Your body's actually this awesome thing. It's, it can heal itself from any disease, any sort of sickness. It's just a symptom of your body running its natural course and trying to free itself, some, free itself from toxins that you've pumped into it. So I see a lot of people, you know, they they have um, mucus or whatever, and they say, I'm sick. Well, yeah, you're sick, but you're actually, that's actually a good thing. That mucus is in your nose, in your throat, in your lungs, in your stomach for a reason. It protects you. It's the last line of defense. Um, it's an extension of your immune system. When toxins or dust particles, whatever, come into your, when you inhale them, and they come into your sinuses, then mucus is there as a sort of, it's like a sticky glue, and it, it, intercepts these these particles and prevents them from going into your muscle tissue, into your lymph system, into your respiratory system. Uh, it prevents it from actually causing damage and inflammation. And it kind of captures it. And when your, your body says, okay, we've used up all the mucus that we possibly can, all this cleaning product, then you have to cleanse it and it's going to make new, new mucus. So all these, all these sicknesses that people experience are generally just symptoms of the healing process. And what doctors, conventional doctors, uh, what medicine doesn't understand really is that they're trying to treat these symptoms that really are just natural ways of healing. They're trying to treat them as the disease itself. You know, they're trying to find out how to neutralize um, all these things that, it, that it, you know, they're trying to kill life instead of trying to support you, your life. What I'm telling you is stay away from the doctors, from the medicine, from the mercury fillings. Stay away from those things and soon you'll see why. Because they're, they're bastardized. They're unnatural. They're not something you should be consuming and definitely not something you should be uh, consuming a lot of. Your body, whenever it comes in contact with something toxic, it has to run through its natural healing process. It has to detoxify yourself so that you can live another day. Right, because if it let those toxins consume you, then you would die. So your body has many, many lines of defense in order to protect you. But 
what you need to do is you need to really listen to it and you need to um, gently change your ways so that you obstruct the natural course of things less and less. What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, turn off the computer, the TV, the iPhone. Get these things out of your perimeter just for a little while because it really prevents you from just existing in a moment. It prevents you from experiencing a thought to its fullest. It doesn't really let you delve into things. You're browsing the internet, you're watching a movie, an image, and you always want more. You want more sensory stimulation. You're going to continue to scroll down Facebook, Reddit, New York Times, whatever it is, you're going to just want to consume more and you're not really sitting, oh, oh, look at that, look at that information, look at that news, hmm, what is, how does that relate to my life? You never think, you never think like that. You don't really think, you just consume. So first rule, just kind of get these electronics out of your life or if you use them, use them for good purposes. Don't go online and look at cat videos. You have a cat around here, you can just pet him, right? That's, that's what I'm talking about. Live more naturally and don't be so virtual. Because these online communities, this Facebook, this MySpace, whatever you use, it can be a good thing. You can keep in contact with friends, relatives, family. It's all actually beneficial if you use it in moderation so that you don't lose the connection that you have with people that you like. So you can see how their life is going and you can communicate, contact them. That's a good thing, but you're actually, people are actually living their real life like their virtual life. You know, you walk up to somebody and they have a cool shirt on, you'll just give them a like that's just, it's just, you say, I like this, you know? It's so weird. It's so virtual. We're living our real lives like our virtual lives. So get these electronics away. That's my first rule. Don't consume them so much. If you're using the internet, if you're using Google, search things that actually benefit your real life today, now. Things that you need to do or things that you're planning on doing that are actually constructive. This is common sense. I don't need to really tell you this, but I'm just going to reiterate. Just get these electronics out. Second step, take off the sunglasses, put on a t-shirt, go out in the sun, start to absorb some sunlight because it's actually good for you. It's food for your body. It's, you know, uh, your body produces, when you, when you consume sunlight, it will, your body will produce 3,000 times more vitamin D than your daily recommended amount. That is so much more than you'd possibly need. Why is that? Because the sun is nutritious. It gives you way more than you could possibly use up so that even in times of stress, you have uh, plenty of this vitamin D to use. And what is vitamin D good for? It's good for calcium absorption. Calcium, as you know, is what you need for healthy bones and healthy teeth, right? So you want to have, if you have, you have a lot of calcium, it's going to be no good unless you have vitamin D. So I'm telling you, you can consume vitamin D from your milk products with fortified vitamin D and, and natural calcium. And that is okay for you, but it's not as natural as the sun and it doesn't give you the plethora of the amount of vitamin D. So go out in the sun, take your sunglasses off because the less you wear sunglasses, the more your eyes adjust to natural light and the more that you're actually going to want to go outside and the less clothes you're going to wear to constrict your body, your skin, your largest organ from actually getting sun, right? And the more, more sun you receive, the more the darker your skin will be and as a result, you'll be less sensitive to, this, to the sun and you won't be sunburned so easily. So go out in the sun. Start to absorb it. Sit with your thoughts. Drink plenty of water. That is the biggest cause of disease is dehydration. Drink your water. Try and get mineralized water. Try and uh, not drink distilled water. Don't drink those sugary shit liquids because they're bad for you. They pollute your body. Your body has to actually get rid of that sugar and those chemicals. And it's not, it's not good. It's, it doesn't add to your, your quality of life. So get the Get the electronics out, get the get some sunlight, you know, don't constrict your body so much, don't wear so much clothes, don't wear so much shoes, um, and just de-stress yourself, you know, and try and live naturally. Another tip is chew your food, chew your food and swallow your saliva with your food because that's your signature, that's your imprint. I'm going to talk more about this because this is very important. You actually, the enzymes need to attach to the food that you're going to be digesting later uh, and that, that happens, this is where digestion starts in your mouth. So. This is where health starts. Drink good water, chew your food, sunlight. Okay. Namaste, my friends. Take it easy. De-stress yourself. Live naturally.